deep cool AK620 digital install guide. All right, guys, so here you can see the AK620 digital. I am going to move this over for a second and I'm going to pull this out of the box. I didn't see an install guide for the AM5 socket. Remove this before installation. Obviously, I hope you all do that. First thing you want to do, you want to open up the the AM5 bag, not the AM. This is the Intel bag. You want the AM5 bag. This is all you need right now. You don't need this, but you do need these. Screw these in. The first thing you need to do, can you guys see this? All right. The first thing you need to do is you need to screw these in. There should be four of them. And when you screw it in, it should look like that. So let's go ahead and screw all four of those in. It shows CPU that way. And you want these in the first hole like so. So it should look like this. See, I know some people get nervous about installing their CPU cooler. So I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. What you do after that, you take this additional baggie right here and you screw these in. Make sure you remove these were on here. Make sure you remove those. All right. So see that's in, they're in. So it should be like so. Then you can use the thermal paste applied. I'm gonna try it. I've never used deep cool thermal paste. It looks like the following. Then this is where it gets a little complicated. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna peel this off. Right? And this is magnetic. Look, see? You want to pull this, pull this off, see? Then you need to remove the inside fan. I would frankly also remove the outside fan. So that way you don't have any issue. I am going to let it hang, but it is possible to take it out. And it really just depends on the way you want the fans orientated, but you can take the screwdriver that comes with it, or you can use your own and you want to screw it in. You kind of want to go a little bit on one, right? So it's in and then a little bit on the other side. Okay. So it's in. So now we're going to go, a few turns, you push down while you tighten it and you just kind of go back and forth so that you get an even, uh, you know, spread on the cooler as far as tightness goes, because you want the heat sink touching the whole cooler, especially me. I'm going to be pushing this thing pretty hard as I'm using this for CPU mining, but this could easily just go into a PC build. Also, this might be not a bad time to install your RAM, depending on how you're going to orientate the CPU cooler. Gotta love Deepcool's design. It's very easy to get these things in and out. And then you take the AK digital top, have it like so, and that's it guys. The point is this was to teach you how to get this installed. It's installed. It looks great. Uh, it's a great cooler. I have one already. Uh, you can see I'm lifting it up. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more CPU and installation guide content. Crew man out.